Students from Springbrook, Jefferson, Churchill meet today on It's Academic. I'm Hillary Howard. Welcome to It's Academic, the world's longest running TV quiz show, and it's produced by Allman Productions in association with David M. Rubenstein Productions. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness and passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI, to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. All right, it's time for the fast start where questions are worth 10 points up or down. The first team to buzz in gets to answer. The students do not see what you do on the screens at home. Here we go. Color chart. We're going to brighten your day with questions that relate in some way to color. Please identify the following. This color names China's second longest river. Jefferson. Yellow. Yellow. Yes. The color purple is a novel by this woman, Jefferson. Walker. Yeah. The element copper gives off this color, TJ. Green. Yes, it is. Oh, nice. This color names the letter in the title of a Nathaniel Hawthorne novel. Churchill. It's scar or, uh, scarlet. Yeah. The Joy Luck Club is a novel by this woman, Churchill. Pan. Yeah. A Florida football is named for, yes, Jefferson. It's orange. Yeah. Scott O'Dell wrote, the Island of This Color Dolphins. Springbrook. Blue. Correct. He wrote The Red Badge of Courage. TJ. Answer Crane. in three, Crane. two. Yeah, Stephen Crane, good job. And that is the end of our fast start. Let's recap the scores. 110 points for Springbrook. Jefferson, 150 points. Churchill, 120 points. And now, of course, we get to do the mix and match round. Before we dive into mix and match, we want to know more about you guys because you're all kind of like cool and smart. <laughs> we begin with you, Springbrook. Uh, why don't you tell us about yourself, Amaka? Um, hello, I'm Amaka. I'm a 16-year-old junior at Springbrook High School. I do quiz bowl, I'm in the marching band, and I run track. All right, nice to have you here. Hello, Arna. Hi, I'm Arna. I am a junior. 16-year-old junior at Springbrook High School, and I'm the captain of the Crispel team. Oh, all right. Well, yes, because you're sitting in the middle. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Hi, Yosef. Hi, um, I'm Yosef. I'm a senior at Springbrook High School and an Ivy Diploma student. Um, and I'm, aside from this, I'm also captain of our debate and mock trial teams. All right, wonderful. You want to be a lawyer? Yeah. Okay. That's normally that first step, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, questions that I tell you are worth 10 points up or 20 points up. Nothing off for a wrong answer. Ma is Pa in yet. Hidden in this inquiry is the name of what country on the Iberian Peninsula? Spain. Spain. Yep, it's Spain. Skillfully, unhappily, sloppily. If you completed a task with dexterity, you would have finished your work in which of these ways? Skillfully. Skillfully. Yes. We filled in all the vowels in the name of what ancient Greek messenger god known to the Romans as Mercury. Hermes. Hermes. Hermes is right. Carl Sagan, George Westinghouse, Henry Bessemer. Which of these men developed a converter important in the process of making steel? C. Bessemer. Bessemer? Bessemer is right. Yeah. The age of chivalry is gone. This comment was made by British statesman Edmund Burke, referring to the execution of what French queen during the French Revolution? Marie, Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette is right. Nice job, Springbrook. 210 points. And now to Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Fairfax County. Guys, it's really good to see you. 
So Dylan, tell us something about yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Dylan. I'm a senior at Thomas Jefferson. Uh, I'm part of the Quiz Bowl team. And in my free time, I like to program, uh, teach, and listen to music. And I like to thank our sponsor, uh, Dr. Bontadibus, uh, for supporting our team and for always being there to help us. Wonderful. You had like that total radio voice going on. You know? Yeah, I did that a lot. <laughs> yes. Hello, Alec. What should we know about you? Hi, my name is Alec. I'm a senior at Thomas Jefferson, and I like to play guitar, basketball, and tennis. And I want to thank our coach, Ms. Fu, for being here and supporting us. All right. Beautiful. Hello, Sanjay. Hi, my name is Sanjay. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I like to bike in my free time. Oh, yeah. Where do you like to bike? Uh, just like around the community. How many miles a week do you think? Not that much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Pop and oratory. You won't need oratory if you can find the hidden name of what mythical Greek woman who let all the evils of the world escape from a box. Pandora. Yeah. Intransigent, incipient, incalculable. If you argued with a friend who was unyielding and uncompromising, you'd best describe him with which of these words? Intransigent. Intransigent. Correct. The quest of... To complete the title of a book of fantasy by Irish author Leonard Wibberley, add what word identifying the sword of King Arthur? Excalibur. Excalibur. Yes. Medulla, cochlea, humerus. In some studies of hearing loss, much attention has been paid to which of these structures of the inner ear? Cochlea. Cochlea. Yes. The only reason for time is so everything doesn't happen at once. This timely statement is often attributed to what brilliant scientist who developed the theory of relativity? Einstein. Einstein, yeah. Nice job, TJ. 250 points. And now to Churchill from Potomac, Maryland. Tyler, what should we know about you? Uh, hi, I'm Tyler. I'm a 16-year-old junior from Potomac. Um, I'm interested in programming, and I'd like to thank everyone at Quiz Bowl for supporting us and my family. All right. Hi, Kevin. Hello, I'm Kevin. I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'm a violinist and an Eagle Scout, and I'd like to thank Mr. Victory, our sponsor, for always being here for us. What, do you have a favorite piece of music? Not really. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Key, tell us about yourself. I'm Key. I'm a junior at Winston Churchill High School, and I'm a classical guitarist. And I'd also like to thank the rest of our team uh, who always support us. Beautiful. Do you have something that you really love to play, you always go back to? Um, yes, I like uh, one of my favorite composers is Jose Luis Merlin. Nice, nice. Ready for some questions, guys? Yeah. Here we go. Worn old soldiers. I'm warning you that hidden in this phrase is the last name of what soldier who turned traitor in the American Revolution? Arnold. Yeah. Phlegmatic, audacious, apathetic. A person who is bold and daring can best be described by which of these adjectives? Audacious. Correct. There are a lot of A's in the name of what mythical Greek woman who lost a foot race because she stopped to pick up some golden apples? Atalanta. Yes. Red corpuscles, platelets, white corpuscles. Of these three blood elements, which one plays a major role in destroying bacteria? White, white corpuscles. Correct. Let the trumpet sound. This phrase titles a biography of what American civil rights leader who won the 1964 Nobel Peace Prize? Martin Luther King. Yeah, Martin Luther King. Well done, Churchill. 220 points. <laughs> Mix and match is history, but picture perfect is future. Stay with us. We'll have it next. I'm David Rubenstein. From the Kennedy Center and the National Archives to the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument, I've been pleased to support many important organizations and historic sites linked to American history, art, culture, education, and more. I believe giving back to our country isn't just an idea, it's an action, a patriotic action that involves all of us. And it begins with education and learning about our nation's past so that we, the people, can make a more perfect union for the future. We can do it together. Please read, Learn, get involved, and make a difference. Now a question for you. Where did the story of Cinderella originate? Well, it turns out the story originated in China, where tiny feet has traditionally been considered a sign of beauty. Back to the teams. We 
We've got some pictures for you in this picture-perfect round where questions are worth 20 points up or down. Here we go, guys. The most venomous caterpillar in the world, this little guy, is found in what South American country? We're Sao Paulo and Rio de... Yes, Jefferson. Brazil. Brazil is right. Topaz gypsum talc. Which of these substances registers eight on the most hardness? Jefferson. Topaz. Topaz. Topaz it is. This young man is what German Kaiser, who later led his country into World War I. Churchill. Wilhelm II. Wilhelm II. You've got it. 60% of what number is equal to Jefferson? 500. Difference. Yep, is equal to 300. The answer is 500. What artist never finished this portrait of George Washington, even though it's been reproduced billions of times on the $1 bill? Answer is... Gilbert Stewart. There must be more to life than having everything. These are the words of what author who had great success with Where the Wild Things Are? Oh, come on! Yes, Churchill. Sen Answer? Uh, like Sanek. Oh, so close. Sorry, Churchill. Sendak, Maurice oh, Sendak, the brilliant Maurice Sendak. I'm kidding. This Uccello painting shows what patron saint of England is slaying a dragon. Jefferson. Sure. Tristan. No, St. George. Oh, but good job, teams. That is it for the Picture Perfect round. Let's recap these scores. Springbrook, 210. Jefferson, 290. And Churchill, 220 points. So first we got to meet the students, and now we get to meet the people who help them here on uh, It's Academic. Let's turn it over to Springbrook. Arna, who's with you today? So we're joined by our principal, Miss Valentine, and we're also joined by our coach, Christopher Canuck. Wonderful. We're really happy to have him here. Yeah. Uh, TJ, Alec, tell us about your coach. Uh, our coach is Miss Fu, and um, she's not, she doesn't work at TJ, but she loves to help us out, and she devotes so much of her time to our quiz bowl team. We really appreciate it. That's nice. That's wonderful. I'm great to, really grateful to have her as well. Over to Churchill. Kevin, tell Mr. us. Mr. Vickery is our sponsor and coach, and at our school, he teaches AP World History and Personal Finance. All right. So now that we've met everybody, and we're so happy all of you guys are here, we get to jump into this packet round. This round, of course, Springbrook gets to answer questions first. Jefferson chooses which envelope they answer questions from, one, two, or three. We'll give them one. One. Okay. Dr. Robert Ballard, who located the wreckage of John F. Kennedy's ship, PT-109, had earlier discovered the remains of what ocean liner that hit an iceberg in 1912? Titanic. Titanic? Yeah, the Titanic. To terrify the invasive mosquito fish into leaving other fish alone, a predator-like robot fish was created by researchers on what smallest continent? Australia. Australia. Yes, it's Australia. Here's your science question. Solar wind, cloud gust, galactic aurora. Which of these phrases refers to a stream of high-speed charged particles radiating outward from the sun's corona? Solar wind? Yeah. Residents of Puerto Rico were not made U.S. citizens until what year when the U.S. entered the First World War. 1917? Yeah, that's it. Correct. The only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about, said what Anglo-Irish author whose novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, is still being talked about? Oscar Wilde. Yeah, here's your math question. What is the value of this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer? 72. Yes. The Miller of Sans Souci is one of many stories told about what 18th century Prussian king, that's Prussian with a P, not Russian, who built his palace at Sans Souci and was known as the Great. Answer in three. Come on, Victor. No, it is not Victor. The answer is Frederick the oh. second. But really nice job, Springbrook. 330 points. Okay. okay, TJ, you are up. Churchill is going to be packet number three or packet number two. Let's cut the... Oh, three. Three. <laughs> okay, three it is. Though the island of Aruba is in the Caribbean, 
It's affiliated with what European country whose largest city is Amsterdam? Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yes. In the 1840s, a fungus caused a famine by destroying Ireland's crop of what tuber vegetable than the mainstay of the country's diet? Potatoes. Yes. Here's your science question. Chondrite coma binary. Which of these terms refers to a type of stony meteorite? Chondrite. Yeah. Chondrite. Yes. According to legend, the neighing of the horse allowed Darius the Great to win the throne of what ancient empire founded by Cyrus? It's by the Persian. Persian. It's Persian. Persian. Yes, it is. You can count on a good story if you read Jan Martel's novel about a boy with what nickname? That means the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Pi. Pi, yeah, life of pi. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as an integer. 55. 55 it is. Victory of the people is the ironic meaning of the name of what last Russian czar who lost his throne and was murdered by the Bolsheviks in 1918? So it's Nicholas. Nicholas what? Nicholas II? Nicholas II is right. Well done, TJ. You have that 25-point bonus and 455 points. And of course, this leaves packet number two for Churchill. Question. In 1870, the U.S. Army Signal Corps began to telegraph daily weather reports from what southernmost island in the Florida Keys? Key West. Key West. Key West. All whales are big, but what kind of whale, named for a primary color, has a heart the size of a small car? Blue whale. Blue whale is right. Here's your science question. Phytochrome, calyx, epicotyl. Which of these is a protein pigment of plants sensitive to red light? Phytochrome. Yeah. Say phytochrome. Phytochrome is right. What 1862 Congressional Act made public land available to settlers in units of 160 acres each? Homestead Act. You're correct again. If you were writing a thesis on the penal system, you might give it what same title as Dostoevsky's classic novel about Rakolnikov? Crime and Punishment. You have got that one. Here's your math question. Please perform the indicated operation stating your answer as an integer. Three. Three is right. Although he didn't invent the hot dog, what king did rule the Franks in the ninth century and relished being crowned emperor in 800 AD? Charlemagne. Charlemagne is right. Fabulous job, Churchill. Got a 25-point bonus and a score of 385 points. You think things are exciting now? Just wait a minute because the Grab Bag Round is coming up next. Hello, I'm David Rubenstein. Did you know that Washington State is the only U.S. state named for a president? Most of the other states have names derived from Native American words. I'm David Rubenstein reminding you to read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. Hey audience, this is for you. What animals are classified as bare-nosed and hairy-nosed? The answer is wombats. You'd think being called a wombat was bad enough without having to be identified as either bare-nosed or hairy-nosed, but I guess it could be worse. Back to the game. All right, it's time for the grab bag. First, let's recap those scores. Springbrook, 330, Jefferson, 455, and Churchill, 385 points. In the scrap bag round, as you know, questions are worth 20 points up or down. Here we go. To get rid of the vegetation that can fuel wildfires, some California communities have brought in herds of what animals symbolized by Capricorn in the Zodiac? TJ. Go. Go. Yeah, it happens across the street from my brother. A 6,000-mile-high geyser has been spotted on Saturn's move, Enceladus, by what new telescope launched in Churchill? James Webb Space Telescope. Yes. While Florida has plenty of alligators, the Alligator River Wildlife Refuge is located in what Tar Heel? Churchill. Tar Heel. Oh. In three, two, one, Everglade. it's North Carolina. Okay. Oh. Check your monitors. This is a 17th-century painting of what 31 BC naval battle where Octavian defeated Antony and Cleopatra Churchill? Yes. 
The 1897 Yukon Gold Rush was popularly named for what Canadian river were the largest? Klondike. Yes, the Klondike is right, Churchill. Choice. Which of the following metals is always found in an amalgam? Lead, zinc, J TJ. Mercury. Mercury is right. The 1962 James Bond novel, The Spy Who Loved Me, was dedicated to Alan Dulles, then head of what American spy agency? TJ. CIA. Yeah. Check your monitors. Harpists spend 90% of their lives tuning their harps and 10% playing out of tune. Well, those were the disgruntled words of what composer whose works include the Firebird and the Right of Churchill. Stravinsky. Stravinsky is correct. Poet Langston Hughes urged his readers to hold fast to what kind of aspirations that... Dreams. Yeah, hold fast to dreams, yes. In the third quadrant, what degree angle has the same sine and cosine? Churchill. 135. Yeah. yeah, 135. I'm sorry? 135. Negative 135. The nation of Chile owns what Pacific island noted for its huge car? Churchill? Galapagos. Well, no, Easter Island oh, carved his stone true. heads. <laughs> Check your monitor. This is what Civil War general who lost a major political battle when he ran against Abraham Lincoln in the Jefferson. Answer. In three, two, one, McClellan. Since nitrous oxide can produce feelings of euphoria, Laughing it is gas. Churchill. Laughing gas. Laughing gas is right. The Treasury once issued a $100,000 banknote with the portrait of what Chief Justice who had presided over Andrew Johnson's impeachment? Marshall? Yeah, uh, no, Sam and Chase. Sorry about that, Springbrook. Among the unusual creatures that are believed to sleep in the upside down jellyfish. Mm. And that is the end of the game. Stick around because we're going to have those scores for you in just a moment. I'm David Rubenstein, and I believe giving back is something we all can do. Many students are getting involved in their communities in important ways. I've asked them to share with us how they're making a difference. Hi, I'm Sophia King, a senior at the Holton Arms School. And over the past seven years, I've partnered with Bethesda Cares a nonprofit organization that runs a homeless shelter here in Montgomery County, Maryland, where I've donated items and packaged meals weekly. In particular, since I have started volunteering here, I have produced over 70,000 sandwiches, and I found a great deal of pride and satisfaction in helping my community combat food insecurity as best as I can. Like these students, you too can help improve the lives of so many people by volunteering in your town and community. Please read, learn, get involved, and make a difference. And now, here's a question for you, our wonderful viewers. This is the name of a lake in what U.S. state? The answer is Massachusetts. And believe it or not, it means you fish on your side, I'll fish on my side, and nobody fishes in the middle. Back to our teams. All right, the scores are now official. We begin with Springbrook High School from Silver Spring. Amaka, Arna, and Yosef, 330 points. Nice job, guys. From Churchill High School in Potomac, Maryland, Tyler, Kevin Key, 425 points. Nice job, and securing that 25-point bonus. Woo, that was wonderful. Coming back for the playoffs, Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Fairfax County. Dylan, Alex, Sanjay, really great guy, uh, job, guys. 495 points. Don't go anywhere because in just a moment, we're coming back with something for you. Support for It's Academic has been provided by the following. MITRE, a not-for-profit research and development company working in the public interest. What happens when the right people connect? Diversity challenges convention. Mentors inspire greatness. And passions drive innovation. From health to transportation and national security, cyber and AI, to space and back, MITRE connects the power of government, academia, and industry to meet our nation's challenges. Together, MITRE connects. Hey, we want to thank not just our students, but all of you, our loyal viewers at home. Can't wait to see you again. I'm Hillary Howard. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.